Hey guys, Don here. Welcome to another beer review. We're in the seasonal season of beers, which will give you a time frame, but you know, late in the year, because I don't know when you'll see this. Could be next year, could be this year, depends on whenever we get off. Yeah, I'll start uploading more videos. We're pretty, pretty far behind. But whatever. Fuck it. But this time we have a beer from uh, Lake of Bays. It's called Wild North Ser Series Pumpkin Ale. Celebrate sweater weather. I was going to say sweeter weather. With this refreshing malt forward ale. Featuring Magnum and Fuggles hops. Pumpkin. Oh, excuse me. Autumn spice and vanilla. Subtle notes of nut and caramel make it an ideal partner for harvest fair. Uh, water, malted barley, pumpkin, autumn spice. Vanilla and hops. That oh, doesn't sound too bad, I guess. You know? Okay, that bad, right? 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 Alright. Pour. Well, it's 473 mil, 6%. Quite a nice looking beer. It's a nice soft white head. It is like almost an orange color going on there. Yeah. Well, let's go to smell. Ooh, yeah. Vanilla. Pumpkin spice. Yeah, the pumpkin spice is there. Whatever autumn spices like nutmeg and cinnamon. Now, cinnamon I'm getting, for sure. I don't know, I don't know why people put pumpkin in, or pumpkin cinnamon in, in beer, but anyways, it's beyond me, but. But I'm getting a nice pumpkin pie smell, you know. It's more of the pumpkin spices, you know. It actually smells like a pumpkin pie. But there is the, uh, it's almost like a burnt orange in there too, and uh, the earthiness from the actual smell of, of pumpkins actually there too, which is not too bad. Cheers. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, you are getting that pumpkin taste, you know. Uh, getting more so the vanilla on the, on the taste as well, instead of more instead of like the cinnamon and nutmeg. That's there, but more vanilla and pumpkin, like actual pumpkin, like puree, which is probably what they put in instead of fresh pumpkins. But that being said, I don't know that. So, anyways, it's got a big thick mouthfeel, which is very surprising. Like it's only six percent. It's got a mouthfeel of like a nine or like an eight nine type of beer. But like I said it's a really really nice looking beer. I will say that for it. Um, yeah, it's a bit cloudy now there at the end. But yeah, I mean, uh, not a bad beer. Easy going, mellow. Um, I said the pumpkin flavors there. There's a nice vanilla hint there, a hint of vanilla as well. And the uh, like cinnamon and the nutmeg is quite far in the background, which is nice. That's just why I like it. I'm not getting it, over, not getting an overpowered punch in the face from it. Well, for a beer in general, I'd say yeah, I get it. Pumpkin ale. Yeah, I don't know. Average. I mean, it's better than most, I'd say. Honestly, better than most I've had. That's just overpower you with pumpkin spice, and that's about it. And no pumpkin. Uh, this one. Reading. I don't know. Uh, 
I'll say a three on it. Anyways, I'd, I'd drink it again. There's tons and tons of them here, so yeah, maybe I'll give them a try. Give a few more a try. Anyways, guys, uh, three. Cheers. See you in a bit.